What have we here? Another random school of fish? Watch as they mimic each other's every move. Even their own mothers can't tell these fish apart. In this school, there is no room for individualism. These fish live in fear. From court to court and lane to lane under the lights or under the sun. No one delivers Division II sports like NCAA.com. The center of D2 is inside the NCAA.com hub with exclusive highlights of every sport and live broadcasts of every Division II championship found nowhere else. Make NCAA.com yours. The home of Division II college sports. At the Rick Case Arena on the campus of Nova Southeastern University in Davie, Florida, it is NCAA Division II basketball with the Sharks of NSU. Today, the NSU Sharks take on the Spartans of the University of Tampa. Hello, South Florida. I'm Dave Halberstam, greeting you from our broadcast position at courtside. The team benches are on the far side. The NSU bench to our right and the Tampa bench to our left. The Sharks come in following that loss on Wednesday to Eckerd, 78-75 in overtime. So the Sharks now no longer among the ranks of the undefeated. The Sharks come in now at 12-1 following the loss to Eckerd on Wednesday. In that ball game, Connor Sinich and Mark Matthews had 15 points each in the conference at SU at 6-1. Meanwhile, the Spartans of Tampa come in following a victory on Wednesday at home, 75-62 in that game. Vincent Biffle had 23 points for the Spartans. And the Rollins win, as far as Tampa is concerned, makes it four of five victories for Tampa. So Tampa has won four of its last five, and Tampa comes in with a mark of nine and five. And if you are wondering, the Tampa Spartans are two and one on the road. As far as NSU is concerned here at home, NSU at eight and one. Coaching matchup today, certainly veterans. Richard Schmidt, the head coach of Tampa, 76 years young in his 36th year as the head coach of Tampa. And this is his 38th year overall. He coached Vanderbilt way back when for two years. As far as Jim Crutchfield is concerned, this is second year with the NSU Sharks, his 15th year overall. A brilliant mark through his coaching career. He coached for 13 years up in West Virginia at West Liberty. Crutchfield, 388 wins, 72 losses. He has coached his teams to victories 84% of the time. Wow. Meanwhile, Richard Schmidt in his 38th year is mentioned overall. A record of 704 wins, 386 losses. So NSU at 12 and 1, Tampa at 9 and 5. Last year, NSU won both games. We will break for this for the National Anthem.
The National Anthem is a prelude to the start of the ball game today between Tampa and the Nova Southeastern University Sharks. The Anthem honoring America, of course. A great, great country. All right. So last year, NSU won both games uh, against Tampa. They won at home 92-69, and they won at Tampa 87 77. Important scratches going into today's game. Tampa will be without Vincent Biffle. He averages 14 points a game. He has a groin injury. Pat Bacon is out for the season. He played just three games early on, and he averages 10 a game. And uh, Devon Colley is out. He averages nine a game. We'll get to the NSU injury in a moment. It's not what it used to be. We play fast. We play with pressure. We're blue collar. We may have some new faces. But we're to So as far as NSU is concerned, we told you that Biffle, Bacon, and Polly are out for Tampa. Set back today for the NSU Sharks. They will be without. Your leading scorer, Connor Zanite, he has a wrist injury, and he will not be playing today. So NSU will go with Nick Smith, David Jettis, Mark Matthews, Dwayne Gibson, and Lucas Spidell will be starting today in place of the injured Connor Zanite. Spidell, the 6'6 freshman from Denmark. He's known as Spidey. And if you're wondering, he has played seven games this year. Lucas Spidell has. And he averages five and a half points a game. And Connor Zanich, NSU loses its top gun. Zanich, the team's leading scorer, he averages 19.2 points per game. And here is the quote of the day from head coach Jim Crutchfield. There are no chances to relax in this league. Whether it's the best team or the worst team, anybody can beat you here. Tampa is obviously playing great basketball. They're having a really good year and are going to come in here ready to go. That's really my concern right now. And talking again of Tampa, we told you at the top of the show that Tampa has won four of five coming in following the win over Rollins Wednesday night up in Tampa. Sharks start the day in first place in the SSC at 6-1, while Tampa at 3-3 three and three in sixth place, and NSU wins the tip. They work into the home white from right to left. Smith with the ball to the right sideline. It goes over to Matthews, gets the step, has a shot blocked under the rim, and taken away by Tampa wearing the road red. And the man who had the block has the ball. That's Brent Duncan. Gets rid of it. Over to Ibrahim. Now number 23 is Cedric Belline. Bellamine, excuse me. And with the ball right now is Alberto Moreno. Moreno to the left of the lane into the corner of three ball by Ibrahim's an air ball played on the hop by NSU's Smith. Corner three in the air, Spidell, he scores. That's a good way to start. An auspicious start for Spidell, he gets. NSU on the scoreboard, 3-0. This is Duncan driving. He missed it off the front rim. The rebound off the backboard. Grabbed by Spidell. And NSU's got it. In a forecourt it is with Dennis. Gets it over to Smith. 15-footer in the air. is on the heel of the rim and it comes off. The rebound is taken under the rim by Bellamere. He's from the Congo. 
Duncan on the far sideline. He has the ball. Brent Duncan, a 6'6", junior from Atlanta. On the right wing, it's Freddie Ibrahim. He's from Canada. Duncan throws it right. It's grabbed by Gamble. He pulls up and shoots it in and out. The rebound tipped up and missed. The rebound, Duncan. He scores. It counts. And he was fouled. Fouled in the act of shooting. The officials for the ball game, Tyrone Archie, Brent Haskell, and Cedric Bennett. So uh, let's just again set the floor for you for the Tampa Spartans. A backcourt of uh, Freddie Ibrahim and Alberto Moreno. And the three-point play is good by Duncan. And on the front line, it's Gamble, Duncan, and Cedric Bellamine from the Congo. 3-3, a conventional three by Tampa and a three-point shot by Spidell. And you're brought up to date. And the ball knocked away. Knocked away by Moreno, but rescued in backcourt by the young man from Denmark, Spidell. Works it back into the front court, gets it baseline to Mark Matthews. Left of the foul circle over to Dennis. Matthews the screen. He bends at the waist, comes into the lane, gets it baseline. And a shot clock violation against the NSU Sharks. And five fresh jerseys coming in for NSU. So head coach Crutchfield knowing that today for sure he's out. The team's leading scorer is out. And uh, he's put five new players in. Connor Zanich, if you've just tuned in, is out. A driving, running right-hander is up and good by Moreno, and it's 5-3 as Moreno scores for Tampa. This is Moore with the ball, number 10. He gets it inside of it, a Langren who's in. He missed the shot, and the rebound off the backboard is grabbed by Bellamy. They're pressing all over the floor, and backing it out is Ibrahim setting it up for Tampa. The jump pass back of the foul circle over to Bellamy. He plows down the side of the lane. The driving shot is missed, the rebound under the rim. His grab by Kolstad gets it ahead of it. A half line reverse shot under the rim, a bit wild. It was missed. The rebound taken by the team in red Tampa, and a foul committed by Pat Huffine on the man with the ball, Freddie Ibrahim. Third minute of the ball game, Spartans five, and the Sharks three. So again, if you're just joining us, Biffle, Bacon, and Collie are out for Tampa. And Zanich is out for the NSU Sharks. Moreno with the ball. Moreno comes left behind the gamble screen, gets the step, the driving scoop, tumbles in. And it's 7-3 Tampa again last year. NSU won both games from head coach Rick Schmidt and the Tampa Spartans. How far with the ball? To the left sideline it goes. Over to Colstead. Colstead's got it against Duncan. Throws it right for the three. It's up and good by Pui. Pui with a three. Puisis makes it 7-6 Tampa. Pressure in backcourt. That's the usual deal. Ahead it goes. Over to Bellamine. He drives. He missed the shot, but they've got a blocking foul as Bellamine was fouled in the act of shooting. That call made by Cedric Bennett, one of the three officials assigned to the ball game. And at the stripe, it will be Cedric Bellamy, and he is a 6'7 junior from Brazzaville in the Congo. Brazzaville is uh, the capital of the Congo. Free throw is up and missed by Bellamy, who is just a 44% free throw shooter. Cedric Bellamine is the team's leading rebounder. He's a big body at 6'7", and he averages a shade under 10 rebounds a game. Missed the next one of the rebound taken by NSU. I'll find the rebound. He got it ahead. Over to Moore from the University School nearby. Head of the foul circle. It's Puisis. Puisis has got it against Moreno. Now give it over to Huffine. Now more from the side. Glass no rim. Jabbed into the air. Batted at the end line. The ball winds up out of bounds. Clock stopped. 16-13 to go. And another set of players coming in. Five fresh jerseys again. Five off the floor and five coming in. Now you've got Gibson along with Smith, Dennis, Spidell, and Matthews. Tampa ball, and the pass for Duncan is through his hands and out of bounds. So the pressure rattled the visitors from Tampa, and NSU will have the ball. 
Big game, of course. A bounce back day is what uh, the Sharks are hoping for today following the loss, their first of the year on Wednesday to Tom Ryan's anchor team in OT. Dennis with the ball. Dennis into the lane. Dennis forces up a shot. He missed it. The rebound batted around. Bellamine gets it ahead to Ibrahim. Stops at the foul line on the semi-break. Gets it middle of the floor over to Duncan. Now once again to Freddie Ibrahim. 6-3 the senior. Throws the ball and he threw it away. He threw it away over to Spidell. Ahead over to Dennis. He fumbled it. Got it back. Now to Smith. Side jumper of beauty. Smitty makes pretty. Now it's 8-7. The Sharks lead it by one. Sharks score the first three points of the game. Tampa quickly tied it up. Now NSU has the lead at 8-7. On the right sideline, Moreno uploads. Threw up an air ball. It bounces in the lane. Grabbed by NSU. Three on one. Matthews to Smitty. He scores. Now it's 10-7. NSU. Sharks trying to make it three in a row over Tampa. They won both games a year ago here and up in Tampa. Ibrahim tries to go rim high. The pass is off the mark, but grabbed by Bellamy nonetheless. He puts it up. He missed it. Then it hit the top of the backboard, which is kosher. Fell down, but it fell off no good in the rebound at SU. Gibson with the ball. Gibson a bounce pass. He threw it away over to Duncan. And Duncan and Tampa quickly left to right into the front court. On the right sideline it is with Ibrahim. He can handle the ball. Ibrahim can, and he can also shoot. Little old school. Play either position, the one of the two. Bellamy drives, and he misses, and the rebound taken by NSU. Hit a four-court Spidell. Spidey into the lane. Jump steps in there to Dennis. Now to Smith for three. A beauty. And Smitty is hot. He's got seven. Of NSU's 13, and the Sharks are up six with 14.15 to go in the opening half here at the beautiful Rick K. Serena on a lovely day in South Florida. So today the Tampa team, NSU's opponent, same two teams will be playing up in Tampa on the 23rd of February. Through the years... NSU 18 and 19 against Tampa. And here at home, NSU 8 and 7 against Tampa. NSU ranked fourth, but those rankings will change following the loss on Wednesday to Eckerd. And the Sharks today are playing. Without their top gun, Connor Zanaiche wrists a wrist injury. And meanwhile, Tampa today beset by injuries without Vincent Biffle, Pat Bacon, and Devon Colley. As far as the Spartans are concerned, three and three in the league with wins over Florida Tech. Embry, Riddle, and Rollins and losses to Florida Southern, Barry, and PBA. So we've seen two quick shuffles today by head coach Jim Crutchfield. He put five fresh jerseys in and then did it again. Put the same five who started back in. All right. 13-7 at SU Tampa inbounds in backcourt. Gamble, a good player, gets it over to Duncan. Right of the foul circle now to Moreno. Moreno's the point guard of Tampa, number one. Alberto Moreno drives in. He scores. It counts at a foul. Alberto Moreno will go to the stripe. A steady 6-3 and a junior. And the foul... Committed by David Dennis, his first of the ball game. So Moreno, who averages 12 a game, is at the stripe. And as you can see, he's a southpaw, and the three-point play is missed, but it's tipped out and grabbed by Gamble. This could be a four- or five-point play, but the pass by Gamble deflects out off NSU. 13-9 is the score, NSU by four. Sharks still in first place. Atop the SSC at 6-1. and one. 
So it's inbounded here by Ibrahim. He gets it in over to Bellamon. He drives into the lane. Driving shot is missed. The rebound batted around and grabbed by David Dennis. Dennis to the foul line. Kicks it out of it to Smith, who's had a hot hand early. His three is long this time. And the rebound taken by Cedric Bellamy. He gives it to Moreno. A long pass over the timeline of it to Gamble. Underneath the rim over to Duncan. Duncan reaches up and lays it in. Now it's 13-11. And SU's lead paired down to two. Gibson with the ball. Gibson comes right. Gibson into the lane. Gibson arches his back under the rim. Missed the shot. But drew the foul. The clock stopped with 13-16 to go. And the officials beginning to hear it from the veteran coach, Richard Schmidt, who did not agree with that call. Schmidt still hollering from the far sideline. The veteran in his 36th year, and he is second in seniority in the SSC to Tom Kludzman at Rollins in his 39th year. Meanwhile, Dwayne Gibson misses the free throw. He'll get one more. Now, Moore checks into the game. Puisis checks into the game, and Langren checks in. Meanwhile, Colstead is in as well, and Gibson at the stripe. Next free throw by Dwayne Gibson is up and good. So, NSU leads it 14-11, and Pat Huffi now replaces Gibson. So, it's five in and five out. That's the way things have progressed here in this opening half as uh, the Sharks try to make do without their top gun, Connor Zanich. And underneath the rim, they step out. Duncan stepped out over the end line underneath the bucket. 14-11. NSU, Moore with the ball. The freshman give it out of the Puisis for three. In and out. And the rebound taken by Bellamy. A long pass by Moreno into the left corner over to Ibrahim. His jumper is missed, and there's a foul. And uh, what's this call about? I can tell you it's being made by Tyrod Archie. It's apparently against Tampa. A foul away from the ball on Duncan, who's uh, asking the official Archie what he did. And Archie tells him. Archie made the trip down here today from Melbourne, where he lives and works for UPS. Huffi with the ball through a double team. He scoops it in there. Pat Huffi from Indianapolis. He'll be needed. Bellamy with the ball. Jumps it over to Moreno. Now to Ibrahim. He drives and scores. One guard to another. Moreno to Ibrahim. And now it's 16-13 at SU. Colstead straight away. The jumper is missed. Meanwhile going down is Langren and Tampa with the ball. Left sideline it is with Moreno. Gets it over to Ibrahim. Ibrahim, middle of the floor. They'll take some time now. Tampa will. Ibrahim, a jump pass to the left sideline. Over to Moreno to Duncan. Around to the right over to Gamble. Gamble doubled up, flips it inside, and it's fumbled away. And It's taken by Langren, and in a sitting position, he gets it ahead. Langren now lumbers into the front court. They wait for traffic to clear. Left wing, Puisis. Puisis has got it against Gamble. He brushes with him. Now rocks back and shoots. He hit. Nicely done by Pui. That's a long two. And it's 18-13. NSU by five. Moreno gets around Moore to the foul line. Into the lane. Keeps going. Flips it inside. It's fumbled but grabbed by Freddie Ibrahim. Now to Gamble, into the lane, down the lane, driving shot, well done. Gamble, a good player. He's their top gun. He averages 17 a game. It is 18-15. On the left sideline, Moore, middle of the floor over to Puisis. Langren the screen. He puts it down, poking at the ball and coming away empty is Moreno. Huffine's got the ball. Head of the foul circle over to Colstead. Down the lane, shot blocked out of bounds by Duncan, the young man from Atlanta, the home of the Super Bowl. 10.56 remaining. Sharks leading at 18.50. And we'll break for this on the Sunshine State Conference Digital Network. What have we here? Another random school of fish. Watch as they mimic each other's every move. 
Even their own mothers can't tell these fish apart. In this school, there is no room for individualism. These fish live in fear. That's a foul, man. Nah, man, that was all ball. All right, everybody, let's go home. Basketball's no brainer. Referees. Barbasol's no brainer. Finally making razors. Dave Halberstam back court side. Both teams 7 of 17. Fans enjoying themselves here today at the beautiful Rick Case Arena. Spacious, clean, and bright. Earlier, the women won, beating the Tampa women. And again, NSU will have to watch that floor as uh, head coach Jim Crutchfield will substitute a lot of players in and out without Connor Zanich here today. He's a master. Crutchfield is, and uh, his record will prove it. So NSU will inbound. They'll go with Dennis Gibson. Matthews, who takes the inbounds pass from Dennis and scores. Beautifully done. Fluidly. Now the press being set up. Smith and Dennis along with Gibson, Colstad, and Matthews in the pass up. The floor sails out of bounds. So that is a Tampa turnover. NSU has committed just two turnovers. And uh, the visitors, Tampa, they've committed five. You'll recall on Wednesday night, both teams, Eckert and NSU, committed 22 turnovers. Into the lane, Smitty drives all the way. He missed the shot. But he drew the foul. Clock stop with 10.30 to go. And NSU leading it 20 to 15. Again, Tampa has won four of five. And coming in here today following the win at home on Wednesday over Tom Klusman's Rollins Tars. Smitty at the stripe and the free throw tumbles in. So Smitty in this game's got eight. He's three of five from the floor is Nick Smith, the pride of Pittsburgh, PA. Both coaches standing. Free throw is good. So Smitty hits a pair and the Sharks now lead it 22-15. And again, the pressure. Gamble gets it in backcourt. And in the ball game now is Jamil Hornsby. And underneath the rim, bucket is good. A dunk, 22-17 by Gamble on that dunk. Matthews in the lane, he scores. Now it's 24-17. In that pressure, Duncan flips it left to Ibrahim. To Duncan, not a gamble through a gaggle in the lane. He gives inside over to Freddie Ibrahim, who scores. 24 19. NSU by five. Middle of the floor, it's Gibson coming right, coming left as he jitterbugs from one side of the lane to the other. Here's Dennis getting the step on Duncan. The scoop falls short. The rebound, Smith. It's blocked by Duncan. It went out of bounds off Smith. So Tampa will have it, and they'll inbound from the rear of the floor. Tampa trailing 24-19. Ball inbounded. Jamil Hornsby, who's now in the 5'9 freshman from Hartford. Of course, Richard Schmidt trying to make do without Vincent Biffle, Pat Bacon, and Devon Collin. Collie. Timeout taken here with 9.32 to go. And NSU leading it. 24-19. Sharks led by as many as seven. And Tampa led by as many as four. Sharks will be here at home on Wednesday night to take on the Lynn Fighting Knights. Meanwhile, Tampa, as they look ahead, Spartans will be at home on Wednesday to take on St. Leo. So the Sharks feeling somewhat of a sense of urgency today. It's a bounce back day coming in following their first loss of the season. 
Jameel Hornsby will uh, inbound the ball. He is the freshman, just 5'9 from Hartford. So Tampa works it across, and Hornsby's got the ball. Now to the middle of the floor to Moreno. Moreno is from Grand Canaria. He goes to the baseline, scoops into the corner over to Hornsby. Nice pass to Duncan. He reaches up and hits. Little guy with a nice pass. Duncan scoring on the pass from Hornsby. Now it's 24-21. NSU with the ball. Left of the circle. Dennis, they get it around to the right. Colstead buries a three ball. Colstead makes it 27-21. Mikkel Colstead, the 6'4 junior from Bergen in Norway, the country's second biggest city behind Oslo. Gamble comes down the lane, bumps with his defender, throws it up. He missed the shot, but a foul against NSU, the tallest of the three officials making that call, Cedric Bennett. Fouls on Mark Matthews, and that is his first of the ball game. As far as personal fouls are concerned, Bellamy of Tampa has committed two, and uh, NSU with no one more than one as the first free throw is up and good by Gamble. Gamble will get one more. Anthony Gamble misses the second. 27-22. Gamble is from Riverview, Florida. Not far from Tampa, about 20 minutes away. Gibson, a three ball. Hits the rim and it bounds away to the left. The rebound bounces to the lane. It's off the hands of Smith. Grabbed by Gamble. Ahead over to Moreno. Drives in. He hits. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Whacked by Dwayne Gibson. So just like that, the Sharks' lead is down to three. And everything will be a battle today. 27-24 is the score. And at the stripe, it will be Alberto Moreno. As mentioned, he's from Grand Canaria, which is in the Canary Islands, and the free throw is up and good. Off the African coast. 27-25. In a four-court it is with Dennis. Kick it out of there over to Colstead. Lobs it to Smitty. Now to Colstead. High strides into the lane, into the corner over to Gibson. Now to Dennis. Back outside. Smitty for three. Hits the rim. Bounds away the rebound. Matthews, he lays it up. He missed an easy one. The rebound, Gibson, and they've got a foul. Again, look at that coach. Coach Schmidt is making all sorts of angry sing signals. Goodness gracious. And a timeout. This is the eight-minute timeout. Coming at the 7.52 mark. And the Sharks in front 27-25 on the SSC Digital Network. That's a foul, man. Nah, man, that was all ball. All right, everybody, let's go home. Basketball's no-brainer. Referees. Barbasol's no-brainer. Finally making razors. The running of the bull dogs? Surprising. What's not surprising? How much money Aaliyah saved by switching to Geico. Great news, Sharks fans, NSU alumni can save even more on Geico car insurance with a special discount. Visit geico.com slash my discount for a free quote today. Well, there you see the NSU huddle disengage and the Sharks back on the floor with Puisis, Dennis, Colstad, Smith, and Dwayne Gibson. Moreno, Gamble, Duncan, Newcomer to the game, Brendan Baker. He wears number 32. And the freshman, Jameel Hornsby. Again, because it is the storyline coming into the game, they're without Vincent Biffle, without Pat Bacon, or without Devon Colley. Free throw by Gibson is perfect. And Dwayne Gibson gets one more. Gibson at the stripe to our left. In his senior year, he will be missed. Free throw is up, and he missed the second. And the rebound is taken by Gamble. 
And the long pass ahead. Look out. Oop. Max, you got to be on that, pal. It bounced right in front of us to our right over our table. And that's a turnover. And NSU has the ball. Puesis is uh, looking for the ball. Gibson's got it now. Gibson into the lane. Gibson drives through it. He's fouled. He's fouled by Duncan. That's his. Now they have this foul on Moreno. It looked like Duncan got him, but it was Moreno who's tagged with a foul. And Gibson right back at the stripe for LSU. Gibson, 6'5", a senior. Free throws up and good. Dwayne Gibson averaging 10.3 points per game, and he is a 76% free thrower. Meanwhile... Moreno sits down, and Freddie Ibrahim is back in. Ibrahim from the Toronto area in Canada. Next free throw is good. 30-25, NSU up five. They led by as many as seven. The pressure continues. Duncan gets it in backward over to Gamble. Gamble crosses on the right sideline, gets it. Over to Ibrahim, who's doubled up by Dennis and Gibson. And the veteran official, official Tyrone Archie, has the call. It's on Dwayne Gibson, and that is his second of the ball game. So Freddie Ibrahim will go to the stripe for the Tampa Spartans. Freddie, a durable player at 6'3". He's the team's best foul shooter, is Freddie Ibrahim. Get set. Free throw is good. You think of Canada, where Freddie is from, and a couple players, of course, in the NBA come to mind. Steve Nash, Rick Fox, my old friend Bill Wennington, who played at St. John's, played in the NBA, too. Next free throw is missed. He was from Canada. Rebounded by Puisis. He's not from Canada. He's from Ohio. On the right sideline, Gibson. Gibson gets the step, drives through. He missed the shot, but again, Tyrone Archie, has got the call against Tampa, and the clock stopped with 7.12 to go. Richard Schmidt, very animated today. He usually sits on that bench quietly, and I believe a bench warning has now been given to Tampa, and Richard Schmidt continues to bark and pace and stir. Now he's got a little conversation going with Freddie Ibrahim as Gibson... Hits that free throw. Gibson, five of seven from the stripe today. Dwayne Gibson with five points, all coming from the line, and the next one's up and good. So it is, 32-26, Sharks by six. They led by as many as seven, and the inbounds comes over to Ibrahim. Gamble works it over the time. My ball stolen away by Gibson, three on two if they hurry. Gibson all the way, layoff, good. Dwayne Gibson Jr. makes it 34-26. Pressure again. Gamble deep in backcourt. Gets it to the freshman, Jameel Hornsby. And uh, Hornsby bobbled it out, but they'll say it was off NSU. The official, Brent Haskell, gives him the ball. And this time, Duncan gets it over the timeline. Tampa in the road red and working it left to right. Jameel Hornsby with a ball. Hornsby middle of the floor and they've got a call against Tampa. Off the ball, a jostle. His charge to Brent Duncan, the 6'6 junior from Atlanta. And that is his second of the game. We'll look. They've got him with two here. Dennis down the lane. He scores. Yep, on the scoreboard, they gave that one to Bellamine, but uh, they corrected it. It was on Duncan, and on Duncan, that was his second. It's now 36-26. NSU, its largest lead of the ball game is... Uh, the layup by Dennis gives the Sharks their first double-digit lead of the day. Gamble around his defender all the way. Driving shot. He missed it, but another foul. This 
Foul call made by Cedric Bennett. And on Gibson, that's his third. So now you've got Dwayne Gibson with three. And uh, two each on Bellamine, Duncan, and Moreno. Free throws up and good by Anthony Gamble. Gamble, the 6'5", senior, a criminology major from Riverview. He's their top scorer. Gamble is 17 points per game, and he is a 79% foul shooter. Sharks now lead it by nine, and Gamble gets one more. A strong, stout 6'5", as you can see. Next free throw bounces off to the left, and Colstead, the player from Norway, with the ball. Dennis into the front court. Dennis to the right wing, gives it over to Matthews, back outside to Dennis, to the baseline over to Matthews. A jump pass over to Dennis, 17 to shoot. Puisis a three, a beauty. Pui with a three. And NSU now leads it by 12, their largest lead. And the ball tipped away by Dennis. He stripped the ball from Bellamine. And they have a foul. And the foul is the second of the ball game on David Dennis and the Sharks in the single penalty at this point. They've committed nine team fouls while Tampa has committed seven. Substitutions being made for the first time today. Tyler Wilson comes into the ball game. He's a 6'4 sophomore from Raleigh, North Carolina. Bellamine at the stripe to our right. He is from the Congo, as we told you, from the country's capital. Brazzaville misses the free throw. 39-27. NSU by a dozen. Matthews falls down, tightly guarded. Try to regrip. The ball beat him out of bounds, and it goes over to Tampa. Substitutions continue as both these coaches... I try to find the right combination with players out, significant players. Of course, we told you that uh, Connor Zanich is out, and the three key players for Tampa are out. Biffle, Bacon, and Colley. Moreno with the ball. Moreno all the way, driving shot, well done. On the move, a feathery shot by Moreno, he threw it up over Matthews. Now it's 39-29 and a travel on Matthews and the ball goes back to Tampa. So if you're counting the turnovers at home, and I know you are with pencil and paper, Tampa has uh, committed eight and uh, the Sharks four driving the other way is Moreno and he scores and now it's 39-31. Eight of four court Smith to the left side, line of it to Puisis. Puisis has got five in the game. He's got it against Wilson. Dennis has got it. He shoots a straightaway. It's short. The rebound, Freddie Ibrahim. Bounces him backward over to Moreno. Moreno doubled up. Gets it across the line. And they set it up. Brendan Baker working that baseline off the ball. Driving Moreno. Driving shot is missed. Rebound reached for and grabbed by Nick Smith. Rushes over the time. Ladder running pass left over to Kolstad for three. Hits the rim and it bounds away. The rebound tipped left and taken by Moreno. Sharks by eight. NSU led by as many as 12. Earlier, Tampa led by four. NSU 39 and Tampa 31. Middle of the floor it is with Baker. He throws it to the right side line of Moreno against Kolstad. Drives in on Colstead, rocks back, now drives forward, gets the step, the driving scoop, no, the rebound tipped and missed, the rebound tipped and missed, the rebound grabbed, and Tampa keeps it, corner three is missed, the rebound still grabbed and laid in by Tampa, looked like uh, the big guy scored, Marco Downer, 6'9", the freshman from Jamaica. Shot is missed. The rebound wrestled for between Matthews and Tyler Wilson and a jump ball. The so play getting a little chippy. A lot of scrappy players out there as uh, 
They're trying to make do without key players. Clock stop with 3.42 to go. It's 39-33. Sharks up by six. Again, the Sharks will be home for the Lynn Fighting Knights. On Wednesday, while Tampa goes home, they'll take on St. Leo on Wednesday. We'll try to give you updates from around the league. Florida Southern playing at Barry. Florida Tech at Lynn. Rollins at Eckert. And Embry-Riddle playing at PBA and St. Leo has the day off. And as the day begins, NSU 6-1 in the league, 12-1 overall. Their opponent today, Tampa, 3-3 three three in the league, and 9-5 and five overall. These two teams have been playing one another for years. Their first meeting was back on the 18th of November, 1983. Long time ago, Ronald Reagan was enjoying his first term in the White House. The first time these two teams played. But one thing has remained steady. Coaching Tampa that day is the same man who's coaching Tampa today. Richard Schmidt grew up in Louisville, Kentucky. Played at Western Kentucky. And the inbounds knocked out of bounds by Spidell, who started today and knocked it out. Spidell's from Denmark. Five players on the NSU roster from Scandinavian countries. 3.42 to go. Both coaches substituting continually here today. And the long pass ahead is grabbed by Moreno. He has two men to beat. Reverse layup, beautifully done. So Moreno scores. Alberto Moreno from Grand Canaria. Now it's 39-35. NSU led by as many as 12. That lead now whittled to four. Puisis into the lane. Throws it left of the circle over to Dennis. Dennis pounds it against the hardwood. Gets it over to Huffman. Out of Pui for three. A beauty. Oh, my goodness. I'm losing my voice. Pui with a three. 42-35. NSU by seven. Puisis giving NSU a lift. Driving the baseline and into the lane. The driving shot is up and good. And that was Gamble. No, oh, Anthony Gamble scores at its 42-37. No relation to Oscar Gamble, who played for the Yankees about 30 years ago. With the ball, Puisis. Puisis has it against Baker to the middle of the floor now to Smith. Left of the circle over to Spidell to Pat Huffine. Huffine over Gamble. He shoots, hits the rim and it bounds away. The rebound taken by Ibrahim. And the pass is tipped out by Dennis, and it will stick with Tampa. Richard Schmidt usually sits and is very contained on that bench. Today he's pacing and stirring and gesturing, shouting. And again, the pass broken up and knocked out of bounds. Sharks trying to force turnovers as they usually do. That's a hallmark of Jim Crutchfield's teams. Matthews checks in. Spidell sits down. Tampa has committed eight turnovers today while the home team NSU has committed five. This team, Tampa, lost a couple of players from a year ago who were good. Duke Shelton and Marcel Robinson, both rangy, long players. Shelton was very athletic and Robinson torched NSU a couple of times. Meanwhile, Moreno ties his shoelace. Now they're ready to begin. A long pass ahead intended for Gamble is off the mark. Gamble bats it at the end line, but he stepped out. And the ball was never touched, says the official Cedric Bennett. So it'll be an inbounds for NSU underneath its bucket. 2.31 to go. And look at Schmidt. He keeps going back and forth. Justin Pekka is one of his assistants. And he's special. 
And another one, a student assistant, is a young man named Tim Russo. Tim Russo. For those from the New York area, you may remember a great talk show host by the name of Chris Russo, now on Sirius XM. Tim Russo is Chris Russo's son, and the shot underneath by Puisis is blocked, but rescued by Dennis, the short jumper. Good. David Dennis gets that bucket. Now it's 44 37. Ibrahim gets it over to Gamble. He drives it and hits. They break. NSU's got to get back. 44 39. The lead is five. Colstead on the left wing. To the left side line, it goes over to Matthews. Matthews hands it off over to Dennis. David, a south boy, shoots, hits the front of the rim, and it caroms out, and it's grabbed by that freshman, Jameel Hornsby. On the right wing it is with Gamble. He gets it back outside over to Hornsby. Now to Freddie Ibrahim. Marco Downer with the ball, number 34. Now Gamble taking the cross-court pass and shooting. It bounds away and off to the right. The rebound of the hop over to Matthews, ahead over to Dennis. David crosses midcourt, drives into the lane. He keeps going, driving shot short. Matthews misses the tip. The rebound, Dennis, he misses again. And the rebound this time over to Gamble. And Gamble bangs in backcourt with Pat Huffard, who goes down, and uh, we'll see what the call is here. They have a foul on Dennis. And that's an issue because on David Dennis, that's his third of the ball game. And with your key player out, you don't want your point guard getting himself into foul trouble. Although, David Dennis, this must have been a technical. It must have been because there's no one along the sides of the lane. And Gamble gets two technical free throws. He'll shoot him, Gamble well. He misses the first and he gets one more. He's a 79% free thrower. He makes the second. It's 44-40. So the Sharks, who led by 12, now they lead by just four. Whether it was a technical or a personal, David Dennis remains with three fouls. And uh, Smitty checks in. Dennis will sit down with 1.11 to go in the first half. And uh, Moreno checks into the ball game. He'll replace the freshman Hornsby. And sitting down as well will be Marco Downer. So Moreno, he gets it in over to Ibrahim. Those two, Ibrahim and Moreno, generally start in the backcourt. They did here today. Moreno's got it against Smith. From the right wing to the left wing, his bounce pass intended at the baseline. And uh, it was intended for Bellamine, but it was knocked away. By Puisis, off Bellamy, out of bounds. It's NSU ball. One minute to go, 44-40 NSU. Huffine snaps it over to Puisis. Pui with a three. Hits the rim, pops off. Rebound reached for by Huffine. It goes out of bounds. So it'll be Tampa ball. NSU 44. Tampa 40. Double team deep in backcourt is Moreno. He's trying to squeeze through, but it's stolen away by Smith. Out to Huffine. Three if it goes. In and out. The rebound carries toward the near sideline and winds up out of bounds as uh, the ball beat a chasing Colstad. But they'll say it was off Tampa. They'll give the ball to NSU with 34 seconds to go. Now Hornsby checks in, and uh, sitting down is Moreno. Downer is back in the ball game as well. He's a big body, a 6'9 freshman from Jamaica. And time taken by NSU. This is the use it or lose it abbreviated timeout. We'll try to keep you posted on games from around the league, and uh, Max is uh, going to do just that, and he's already got some scores from you. The precincts reporting in, as the reporters say on election night. At the half, it's Barry 36, Florida Southern 34, and that ball game is being played down the road in Dade County at Barry. 
And uh, Barry leading Florida Southern by two. Meanwhile, Lynn, well in front of Billy Mims, Florida Tech team at the half. 35-25, and that game is being played at Lynn in Boca. Rollins at the half in front of Eckert, 38-34. That game being played at Eckert. All right. It's inbounded by NSU, and they will hold for one. Three seconds separating the big clock and the shot clock. With it, no one moving. Here's Smith. Now he comes to the middle of the floor, given a lot of room by Ibrahim. Gets it out of it to Colstead. Colstead into the lane. Now to Matthews. He's underneath. He puts it up and misses it. And the rebound taken by Downer. Two seconds to go. And a heave from beyond half court is in and out. The little guy, the freshman, Hornsby, threw it up from 48 feet. And it pinballed out. And that will do it for the first half. NSU leading by a count of 44-40. They led by as many as 12. And they take a four-point lead into the locker room at halftime. This Tampa team had some success early on in head coach Richard Schmidt's tenure there. In fact, his teams, the first nine years, won 20 games or more each season. And back in 2001, Tampa advanced to the final four of D2 in Bakersfield, California. And uh, head coach Richard Schmidt, an interesting man. He loves basketball, as you know, all these years coaching. But he also raises wild birds. Exotic birds. He breeds them. He's an aviculturist. So, you want to talk birds, you can always talk to head coach Richard Schmidt. So, there you uh, have the score and uh, the team stats. Tap is shooting 52%. The Sharks just 37%. Rebounds about even. Tampa 25, NSU 24. Tampa has committed 11 turnovers, NSU 5. And points off turnovers, NSU with the lead, 14-8. But this has been a battle. Players coming in and out of the game for both teams, given all the injuries. And uh, both coaches digging and reaching deep into their benches. Trying to find the right combination here today. Sharks won both meetings a year ago from Tampa, winning here at home, 92-69. They won that game by 23 points, and then they won at Tampa by 10, 87-77. And again, these same two teams up in Tampa, in downtown Tampa, where this school is situated. That will be on the 23rd of February. So again, the score is NSU 44, and the Spartans of Tampa 40 will be back, oh, in about nine or ten minutes with the second half. It's a tight game. NSU in front by just four. This is NSU basketball on the Sunshine State Conference Digital Network. <laughs> 